This is the same frame that we analyzed using method of joins in the previous video. And in this one, we are going to try to analyze a couple of um, members in this frame using the method of sections. I have discussed the method of sections, uh, the theory behind the method of sections in a previous video. And what we are going to do is a, a, a worked example here. So we are aiming to find the forces on member one here. Um, one, two, and three, these three members. So as I said in the previous video uh, on method of sections, we are going to draw a line passing through these three members. The condition is you can draw a line with a maximum of three members with unknown forces. So here we have unknown forces on member one, two, and three. So you can draw a line through here and consider each side of that line as a free body in equilibrium. And you can select either side of the, uh, the line uh, to analyze, but always make sure you select the, uh, the sides with the lesser forces and members. That will be easy to analyze. So moving on to the problem, here I have shown uh, uh, the uh, how to find the reactions. Um, we already did that in the previous video, but I'm just repeating here uh, once again. Um, you have a 10 kilo newton, a 12 kilo newton acting at um, unknown distances. So you need to find the distance here and the distance to this place, which we already discussed in the previous video. So I'm not going to go into the finite minute details here this is f and this is g so you can um, find using the trigonometric relations which is given here the side a c is a b cos 60 uh, or a b sine 30 and that is 2.5 meters so you have 2.5 meter here and the a f will be a c cos 60 and that is 1.25 meter here and now you need to find ED and that will be EB cos 60 and that is 1.25 meter here. So you have 1.25 here and your distance EG will be ED cos 60 which is 0 0.625. So you have 0 0.625 here and th this is 2.5 therefore AE is 2.5 and this is 1.25 and therefore this also is 1.25. So the distances are uh, shown um, in the uh, figure here. This is the uh, distances that we just found out and this is 2.5 here. You have 1.25, 1.25, 0.625 and 1.875. So the distance AG is 3.125. From A to G it is 3.125. So I'm just writing here for 3.125. Now you need to find the support reactions at A and B. So taking moment about A, there is a force 10 kN at 1.25 creating a clockwise moment. Therefore the moment is negative. A 12 kN acting at 3.125 creating a clockwise moment and hence a negative. And RB acting at 5 meter creating an anti-clockwise moment and therefore positive. RA acting at zero uh, distance from A therefore no moment. So the moment equation will be RA into 0 minus 10 into 1.25 minus 12 into 3.125 plus RB into 5 that is equal to 0 and therefore RB equal to 10 kN. From the vertical equilibrium you have RA plus RB is equal to 10 plus 12 that is 22 kN and therefore you have RA equal to 12 kN which is 22 minus 10. So you have RA equal to 12 and RB equal to 10 kilonewton. Now we are moving on to find the, uh, the forces on members 1, 2 and 3. So as I mentioned in, in uh, previously, what you need to do is uh, draw a line through the members in which you need to find the forces. The condition here is you can draw a line through a maximum of three members with unknown forces. So the unknown forces are force on member 1, member 2 and member 3. Now you can consider either side of this uh, line as a free body. So if you, with, a, with, a, with, a, with an inspection on this uh, figure you can see uh, to the right of the line here which is simpler because you have only two forces and 
one extra member with unknown forces where here you have two forces and three members with unknown forces so it's better to use uh, the right side and i'm going to use the right side here to find the forces or members one two and three so i just uh, removed uh, the unwanted uh, portion from the figure and i've just shown uh, the the members where we are uh, going to find the forces so this is uh, your member one um, and uh, this is two and this is three so it is really really simple you just need to take moment about a couple of points uh, assuming the body uh, is uh, in equilibrium that's all you need to do uh, so you can either take moment about D or B or E uh, you may have a doubt that E is outside the uh, or to the right of the uh, the line uh, that we draw here but in some cases you may have to use one point you can either use E or you can use this point to find one uh, force uh, on a member so uh, that is acceptable when you use this method you, you may have to use one external point or one point to the other side of the line so that that's your uh, uh, that's your um, uh, decision uh, which point you have to take um, it's just convenience um, uh, and you can select any point so basically what we're doing is taking moment about D B and E here so when you take moment about D this force will be having zero moment because that is passing through T this will be having a zero moment 2 will be having a zero moment the only forces that will have a moment will be force on member 3 and RB so take a moment about D you have RB acting at 1.875 here and force on F3 I'm just assuming this is uh, towards uh, creating a clockwise moment so force is in this direction so the moment equation will be 1.875 into RB minus F3 into 1.25 sine 60 we already calculated this distance as 1.25 and we know this angle is 60 so this distance will be sorry this distance will be 1.25 sine 60 and that is a distance F3 is acting from point D so this this is a distance we want to calculate and that is 1.25 sine 60 so that's your moment equation when taking moment about T so you have solving this line you have F3 equal to 17.32 and if you are getting a positive value for the force then your assumed direction is correct now moving on to point E here you have no moment for this force no moment for this force but moments for force on member 1 12 kilo newton and RB again I'm going to consider a force in this direction so you have the distance to this force is 1.25 the distance to 12 kN is 0.625 and the distance to RB is 2.5 so you know RB is 10 kN therefore RB is creating a counterclockwise moment therefore positive this is creating a clockwise moment about E therefore negative and this is creating a clockwise moment about E therefore negative so the moment equation will be RB into 2.5 that is 10 into 2.5 minus 12 into 0.625 minus F1 into 1.25 is equal to 0 and from that you get F1 equal to 14 again because you get a positive value the assumed direction is correct so the other side will be like this and for this one it will be like this now you need to find the force on member 2 take moment about B you have 12 kilo newton no moment for F1 and no moment for F3 because both are passing through point B and you only have moments for the force 12 kilo newton and F2 here again I'm taking a direction assuming a direction here like this so from considering point B 12 is creating an anti-clockwise moment therefore positive and force on member 2 is creating a clockwise moment therefore negative so the moment equation will be 12 into 1.875 minus F2 into 
2.5 sine 60 you know this this side is 2.5 and this is 60 so this will be 2.5 sine 60 so you have 12 into 1.875 minus f2 into this side which is 2.5 sine 60 equal to 0 solving that you get f2 equal to 10.39 again because we got a positive answer the assumed direction is correct so you have directions like this that's it we analyzed or we found the forces on members 1 2 and 3 now I have shown here the complete truss with forces and corresponding directions so you have 14 kN here which we just found out 10.392 and 17.32 here on those three members 17.32 14 and 10.39 and the other forces we calculated in the previous video using method of uh, joints if you have any doubts please go through uh, these videos here where we discuss method of joints and uh, method of sections also go through the support reactions and uh, forces and moments if you are not sure how to find forces moments and support reactions here